Now the previous operating system was called Snow Leopard. If you're familiar with Apple, do you know that each of their operating systems is named after um, one of the cats? So um, by no means am I going to go into all of the new features of this operating system. There are approximately 250 new features and I purposely waited two, about two weeks um, after the, the uh, update came out in order to make a video. I want to make sure I was very familiar with every um, aspect of the operating system. So right now I'm just going to highlight the key changes, uh, so to speak that are um, new in OS X line. So uh, let's jump right into it. The very first thing and to me the most um, impressive thing is the uh, multi, multi touch gestures that, that you can do with this uh, operating system. If you have an iPad or if you have a, an iPod touch then you're pretty familiar with multi touch gestures. I'm going to give an example of what I'm talking about. Um, let's just use this This picture for as an example. Now with multi-touch gestures, uh, just basically just shortcuts um, that allows you to manipulate pictures and and different uh, programs. Now, pinch to zoom is one of them. You can't see my fingers. What I what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, bringing my fingers in close and just pinching the picture. And as you can see, it gets smaller and it gets larger. That's pinch to zoom. You also can rotate the picture. Just by moving your fingers on a trackpad. So those are multi-touch gestures. And again, you can do this with pictures, you can do it with various programs, various web pages, etc. So it's a very neat uh, neat way to uh, manipulate different things. I'll go ahead and close the screen out. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is going to be uh, what's called mission control. Now what that's going to show is everything that's currently running uh, on your your uh, Mac, MacBook, or iMac, or your iPad. Now, <clears throat> with Mission Control, you can either launch it from down at the bottom here, or you can do a, a shortcut. Again, we go back to those gestures. Three fingers swipe up will get you right to it. And that's Mission Control. As you can see here, it's, it's showing you everything that I'm currently running. Um, and, and you can organize this into different desktops and that's also very neat for instance if I want to go to desktop 2 I'll click desktop 2 now on desktop 2 um, as you can see I have the uh, the actual app store okay pulled up now if I want to go back I slide three fingers straight up on the trackpad and as you can see it's, it's showing everything again that's running now if I want to clean desktop um, what I can do is you can move your cursor over to the right click the plus button and that's going to give you a clean desktop if I hit that there you go now I have nothing on my desktop again you can go back three fingers up <clears throat> and you can get back to your uh, primary screen that you started at so that's very neat that's uh, called mission control again the, the uh, three finger swipe together straight up on your trackpad <clears throat> now one thing I want to mention is um, if you have one of the older uh, MacBooks, then uh, it'd be beneficial for you to get a an actual trackpad that you can buy from Apple. It's about sixty nine dollars to take uh, full advantage of, of uh, those multi touch gestures. If you have one of the newer MacBooks, uh, la MacBook laptops, then of course you have a, a trackpad that's already on your um, on your machine. Okay, next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what's called Launchpad. Launchpad is going to show every single thing that's currently on your machine. You can also get to that by using a, a gesture or a shortcut. The way you do that is you're going to take all your fingers and just pull them in together. Kind of like a pinch of all your fingers. Okay, and there you have it. This shows everything that's currently on your machine. Now, as you can see, I'm actually going left to right again this is another um, shortcut shortcut or gesture what I'm doing is I'm swiping left and right on my mouse and what that's going to do is going to move the screens from left to right 
and you can also launch applications from from here this screen okay so it's going to hit escape and get out of that and again you're going to find the launch pad right here uh, in your dock once you download it and uh, what I failed to mention at the beginning um, this app this update is going to cost you $29.99 and you can get it from uh, the App Store. Once you download it, uh, once you select it, pay for it, it's going to automatically start downloading to your machine. Okay, a couple more things I want to talk about. Uh, one being the full screen uh, apps, the ability to make your applications full screen. Now, you can do that with certain applications, not all applications. Uh, for instance, if you want to use your whole screen with a photo, I'm going to go ahead and open up a photo. Okay, once I um, once I get to this photo, um, you can actually see the photo. I'm going to make it larger. It's not the full screen right now. If I click these two arrows in the top right corner, it's going to actually expand and it's going to take up the entire screen. So you have the ability to do that in in a uh, line, which is great if you're if you're using uh, the mail application. It's great with photos and other applications. Hit escape. Everything is going to come back into focus. Go ahead and close this picture. Okay, last but not least, guys, uh, talk about the new and improved uh, mail application. Go ahead and open mail. Now, they made quite a few changes in uh, in Mac Mail here. Let's try to highlight a few of them. Um, guess one of the most uh, impressive things they've done is you have the ability now to look at uh, conversations. When I say conversations, all the emails exchanged between you and another person, you can see it on basically on one screen. Right here, you can see I have this uh, divided into two columns. That's another change. Um, as I scroll down here, you can see all the emails between me and uh, and another person. Okay, so you had the ability to do that along with. Uh, many other shortcuts for instance you can uh, go ahead and re reply to this email right from the from within the email excuse me so I'll hit a uh, reply okay once I get to reply you also have shortcuts here at the top right where you can go ahead and add a photo and attachment so the interface for MacMail is uh, certainly a uh, change they've done a lot of uh, good changes and there's other things I'm not going to go into to everything here it take uh, uh, quite a while so the major change for mail will be the conversations um, you can you also have that uh, search box block search box um, and the parameters are a little bit better so you can can search a little bit more effectively and again it's a two column view and in my opinion it's a lot less cluttered alright guys that's uh kind of some of the highlights of the, uh, the brand new operating system OS X Lion uh, coming from Apple um, you need to have at least uh, two gigabytes of memory in your machine or to do this upgrade if you have an older machine um, then you need to make sure you up upgrade first to uh, Snow Leopard and then from there you need to upgrade to Lion that's uh, what uh, Apple uh, recommends alright guys you got any questions um, uh, let me know. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Take care.